teachers, it's Marcy. I wanted to show you a quick way to get in touch. You could use this to keep in touch with your class. And even if you have um, a group that you sponsor, like cheerleaders or sport, this would be a great way to be able to get out fast messages to everyone. If you come to the website, www.remind.com, it used to be called Remind 101, and they renamed themselves this past summer. But it's a great way to be able to text, and the great part about it is nobody gets each other's numbers. It's a one-way texting service where you sign up, you give them the code, they get hooked into your account, and then you can send the text just to inform them if there are changes or things that they need to know urgently. So you would come in with teacher sign up, and of course you'd fill that out. So I'll go ahead and do that right now. And I'm going to do complete sign up. And because I'm already using that email, it's going to tell me, uh-oh. And so I'm already there. So you would just complete the process of signing in. Once you get in, you're able to come in and get started by adding your first class. So I'm just going to give it a name like sample class since I'm using this to show you. And you can tell people, will you be messaging people age under 13 or 13 plus? And it reminds you that to uh, talk to kids, they have to notify, notify parents. My strong advice is let the parents choose who signs up. So it's just a reminder that we're not supposed to directly text the children. So I'm going to just go with 13 plus. I'm going to hit save class and add students. To add the students, it gives you a quick little reminder of how to do it. You can actually download the PDF, photocopy it and give it out, or you can go through the send invitations and throw in, um, if you know their email or mobile number. Notice it says to just separate them, or you can enter them one per line. Um, and notice invitations are not sent from your personal email or mobile number. You also have a web link that you could send them, so however you choose to have them sign up. What they would do is take out their phones, use this number, and text it. You would text this number and this would be the message because it assigns you a group number. Um, this is a quick little link called a QR code that they could use if they have a QR code reader to download the free app. And so you would do that. Once you have it set up, you can choose which class. You could take that one out if I had multiple classes. I could hit multiple classes at one time. And I would just simply type in my message saying something like, um, game time today has been moved to 5 o'clock p.m. in the gym. And I would hit the period, of course, because I need my punctuation. I could also schedule this for later. So I could tell it something that I want announced later, or I could send it out right now. Um, they've also added the ability to add things like pictures and things in. Um, so you have that option. And you would hit send. It would then show you what's been sent, what you have scheduled. Now, notice if I have no subscribers, it's not going out to anyone, all right? But it would be used um, once you have your group set up and you always have the option to get back to your instructions. And so it's a quick, simple little way to log in and send a quick message. Um, again, no phone number is shared, so it keeps us safe in privacy, and it also allows you to send out a text without necessarily giving out your number to text. And you could add as many classes or groups as you need. And of course, I'd always remind you, just make sure that you sign out at the end. Um, so this is a quick little way to use Remind. And if you have any questions, please come and see me.